Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Russell Khanga once again. I hope you're enjoying the proceeds of the Global Arab Business Week. Uh, I have with me two interesting personalities right now, which is really relevant to the subject, uh, Sheikh Al Maskari from Muscat and Atul, who chairs the Global Business Foundation. Uh, I start with you because okay. uh, I was on two panels where I heard you speak and I saw that happen last year also. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're one of the advocates in this region that talks of uh, you know, education, skill development uh, as, as a tool to become self-reliant and sustainable growth from inside out. Uh, I've seen other people talk many things, but you advocated that. So. Uh, Sheikh Maskarik, my question to you is, uh, you're from this area, you've done extremely well in your country and worldwide in business, you have a big business empire. Uh, what is it that you feel uh, is in the field of education and skill development is required in this region generally and in your country particularly uh, that will help this whole region's growth for a long, long term? So if you could share some of your thoughts on that. Sheikh. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, you know, the education is a kind of a principle of a human being. Mm -hmm. uh, without education, we cannot communicate. Without education, we, can develop, we cannot develop ourselves. And we have a say in Arabic, say, uh, It means that you have to learn from the day of you were born till the day you die. You die. You die. All your life. All your, all your life. That yes. is a very, very good concept. So, so to have any country, to have sustainable development without education, I think it will be always very fragile development. Uh, and I believe in this uh, uh, because uh, any people, we have some example, Palestinians, Syrians, Egypt, Egyptians, Lebanese. When they had a problem, political problem domestically, and they flew outside, they didn't have a problem because they are educated. While those who are not educated, they stay and they suffer economically, socially, and everything. So by this, which I insist and always on advocate of the education, we have to to spend a lot of money for education. I don't want to have a trade because a trade it goes and comes. Uh, but education, I built a human being. I built him, he can be a safe for the country and he is and a safe for the, for the country. This is my uh, principle. Uh, talking about Oman, I think we have still a lot of uh, opportunities. Uh, now, for instance, still uh, the Oman send their children outside, uh, out of the side to Malaysia, to India, to Egypt, to Jordan. Uh, hundreds of students are studying outside. Mm -hmm. So, because they cannot have local education, not because uh, they, because the, the institution cannot absorb all this number. Yeah. We have in Oman, for instance, now we have the German university, we have about three private universities, but still are incapable to accommodate all the outcome uh, of the uh, secondary school. So, also, the kind of education is very important. Uh, it's not a question of education uh, just for education, for, I mean, just to fill the gap of the, of the uh, administrative, but uh, we need education for education. Education, a, a, a person who finishes study, he can depend on himself, whether in, uh, in, in country or outside of the country. The private sector are willing to, uh, looking actually for uh, locals to employ, which will be much cheaper than to bring an expert. No uh, uh, ticket, no labor clearance, no uh, insurance, okay. so all this health insurance is covered by the government. So any private sector would prefer to have a capable uh, national figure to employ him than to import and 